we really needed to have our together if they were gonna be our collaborators. President Obama is a movie lover. He was such a fan of the book and his, his goal was to really make a great movie. We agree on almost everything except that song. I trust and I feel safe with you so that I can then, you know, insult you and do all these things because I know we're gonna be good after. First of all, I'm really grateful to be here in this world and not in that world. Yes, as, as are we, yeah. yes. Yes, I mean, do you have like a anxiety hangover from filming this? For a little while, for a yeah. few weeks. I was, I went dark a little bit. I'm hoping that during this process, you two have picked up maybe a few tips on if we do have to leave the world behind. So what are we grabbing? Where are we going? Each other, mm -hmm. that's yeah. what we grab and just hold on tight. And nothing else? Yeah. Okay, um, I mean, I'm probably still gonna grab maybe some good alcohol and, you know. Yeah, sure, yeah. Granola if you've bars. got an extra hand, yeah, yeah, go for it. Pockets. Granola bars. <laughs> Big pockets, yeah. so we can stuff them. I think you gotta make sure you have physical media. At the end of the day, it's very important. I mean, um, you know, during the crisis, what do we do? We want to escape to our uh, our comfort food, which, you know, uh, our, so you got to get those DVDs of your favorite shows or movies. What would be your DVD of choice? I'd probably have to go with My Best Friend's Wedding because I love that movie. It's one of my favorites and it definitely puts a smile on my face. To be honest, a Julia Roberts collection. Well, there you go. Would do Honestly, job. yeah. Yeah, her run in the 90s with those romantic comedies, I'd probably pick every single one of those. And if we did find a bunker, Obviously in the film, The Bunker, you've got a wall of DVDs right. with all mm. the good box sets. Mm -hmm. What one box set would you wish was there? Frasier. Arrested Development. Both feel good, yeah. classic. Yeah. Well, if you're in a bunker, do you want to see something dark? Absolutely no. freaking You don't want to watch a zombie show. All the Saw movies. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Just impending doom every day. <gasps> and I know that when you read through the book, I think the second time, yeah. it was when Julia stuck out to you as this is a this is a perfect casting. Yeah. For let's be honest, a somewhat unlikable character. Absolutely. And that's that's why it was the perfect casting, because I knew that uh, as thorny and as complicated as Amanda was, I was gonna need someone to really channeled the humanity out of such a flawed person. And um, who better than Julia, who's not only a brilliant actor, but she has this like undeniable charisma about her that allows the audience to kind of access who Amanda is. There's a great scene in the movie with Ruth's record collection. Mm -hmm. And you have a little, you have a little boogie. Is that the type of record? <laughs> Would you pull that for a, a record that you could, what, what's your line, a lady could move to? Sam and I are very good friends and we agree on almost everything except that song. Oh. And I asked him to change it so many times, no offense to the talented blokes, <laughs> but I asked him so many times because I was so embarrassed. The beginning of that song and Mahershal Ali is standing there all eight and a half feet tall of him. <laughs> and, but even just this morning, Sam explained yet again why he picked that song. And he's completely right because being uncomfortable is the right thing. And just that song being kind of known, but not really popularized. And uh, he just has an answer for everything. But it was very, um, it was very funny to have to portray Amanda in that scenario of my boogie, as you put it. And Julia was saying as well that you um, had a bit of back and forth about that song choice yes. from that dance scene. Yes. Why were you so determined that that was the song? You know, that moment in the film needed to feel very grounded and very silly. And I felt that the song kind of um, allowed those two characters to cut loose in a way that maybe a more popular or familiar song wouldn't have. And come on, their dance moves just, you know, <laughs> really complimented. I was gonna say, lyrics. it was unexpected, that was for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to work with the Obamas and their production company. Wow. I'm very curious, surreal. very, I'm curious, what kind of feedback Barack and Michelle Obama give? Is it firm? Is it soft? 
No, you know, it's funny. President Obama is a movie lover. He's, you know, he's, he, and he was such a fan of the book and his, his goal was to really make a great movie. Um, so it was a, it was a collaboration, honestly. And he was giving notes, you know, on the script stage to production, to post, um, and everything from the disaster elements to the characters, to the theme. It was surreal. It was a wonderful collaboration. We definitely were honored. We felt like for them to want to collaborate on this. I mean, this was a, a book that Obama had put on his favorite books list that year. And it just seemed like we really needed to have our <laughs> together if they were gonna be our collaborators. And, and working with each other, how was that experience? Have you like bonded throughout? It's funny, I think when you when you play characters that 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 keep bumping up against each other. It, for me, it almost like created a stronger sense of my affection for my Hala because, you know, for so many hours of the day, I'm sort of being like this person and, and posturing and all this like puffy stuff. And then to get to just like have one little moment of warmth in the day, it just made it that much sweeter mm -hmm. like, for me. And, and she's so tiny. <laughs> like you could just put her in your pocket. <laughs> no, I, I felt um, in a similar vein, like if I'm doing something with someone and we're posturing or butting heads or, you know, going at each other, I always am like, can I have a hug? Like after we call cut, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to be with Julia yeah. Roberts. <laughs> I want to be. And also that like, that is fun for me. And I feel like we really go to a place. So you have to like, for me at least, I feel like you have to come from a place of trust, like mm. us on a level, like I trust and I feel safe with you so that I can then like, you know, insult you and do all these things because I know we're going to be good after. Yeah.